So this is just crazy how all this came about. So I know that some of you saw the uh, video about what Peter Pan really stood for and how he was more or less a demon <clears throat> and that he groomed kids to lure them away from their home. And then they realized when they went to Never Never Land, it really wasn't Never Never Land. They were actually abducted. So I fell asleep after that and I had this dream. And I was at a party, well, what I thought was a party when I got there. I thought it was a party, and there was this woman there, and it was actually Brian's mom. Her name's Margaret, but I realize now it's because the woman's name is Margaret, most likely, that brings these women, these children there. And uh, I was in there, and I, I couldn't find, like, the bathroom. Like, I couldn't really find my way around, and, and there were dogs everywhere, like mean dogs I remember looking up at a tree and I guess it was a tree that was out back or something like that and I saw like things coming out of it that looked like animals right and then it wound up being dogs like so this place could have a lot of mean dogs around it to intimidate I don't know if there's anybody in the house with these kids or if that's what watches the kids these dogs or if they're treating kids like dogs now I don't know anyway so there was a bunch of people in there like a party and then I wound up seeing Eugene Levy's son, Dan Levy, which I love him. I feel like they're telling me you watch my channel. I love you. I think you're amazing. And I had a conversation with him. And I remember saying, you know, it seems like everybody, and he looks at me, he goes, hate you. And I was like, yeah. And I went to get his phone number and I looked over and he had already left. And I, I thought I was talking to him and I looked over and I go, let me give you my phone number. And, and then as I looked over, the guy that goes, okay, was a different guy. He had like um, grayish, blackish hair. I don't know. You know, he kind of looked like, um, I can't even think of it now. I didn't even ask my pendulum about that dude, but that dude could also be involved. He could be in there with her. I don't know, but he just looked like the kind of dude that just was shady. Anyway, uh, eventually I went outside and there was a war. It was like, um, like a flood, like as if a flood, like you would see a flood and it was whirlpooling around with these kids riding. It was like riding a wave. And at one point, the kids thought it was fun. And then they didn't think it was fun anymore. And I remember this little girl was afraid to leave the bathroom. I went to go use the bathroom and I had to get in there. But she was in there. She wouldn't leave because there was a dog intimidating her not to leave. I wound up going in there, picking her up and taking her out with me. So I could have something to do with what I'm about to say after this because I did a little bit of research I couldn't go back to sleep that this is a house that some kids could be at I don't think they're being watched by people on um, a lot I think that whatever the parties were they could be getting trafficked but there's dogs and this is this may be why maybe neighbors don't say anything. Like this could be the dogs are intimidating or something like that. But they're definitely intimidating kids not to even try to leave. Anyway, I got a street name, and it's Eleanor, which is in a bad neighborhood because I remember that my dad and I did a job down there, and he wouldn't even leave me alone to go get lunch one day. He's like, "We're not going to eat lunch. We're going to stay here, both together." Because he didn't trust it. Eleanor Street. Alright, so I hope that that's enough for what these detectives and police need. I, I believe there's kids there. And this I don't know if this chick is next door. Because a lot of times they'll do this when somebody's next to me. There could be a bitch named Margaret next door that, that's actually involved in bringing children there. Or has something to do with this shit. I want to put hands and feet on you, bitch. It was 444. Four, four. Nowhere. Love you, Philly out.